European Union contributes to malnutrition assistance program for Sahrawi refugees. In December 2019, the European Union, a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace recipient, and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Unconditional World Care Laureate, provided 1.3 million euros to a food aid initiative for those living in five camps near Tindouf, Algeria. The United Nations World Food Programme, or WFP's Special Food Products, will treat and prevent malnutrition in Sahrawi women and children, with almost 8% of those under 5 being acutely malnourished. Additionally, to encourage healthy eating habits, enhanced nutrition education will be offered. The EU contributed 4 million euros to the CAMS food programs earlier in 2019, making it the largest contributor to the WFP's endeavors for the residents covering 30% of the organization's 2019 budget. Our accolades and warm appreciation, European Union and WFP, may the beautiful Sahrawi refugees soon know abundance and stability in Allah's infinite blessings. United Arab Emirates helps enhance safe water and sanitation availability in Iraq. The UAE is providing a 2.5 million US dollar grant to Nadia's initiative to support a new wash, water, sanitation and hygiene project in the northern Iraqi district of Sinjar. The endeavor is said to benefit over 61,000 Yazidi residents across six villages by increasing safe drinking water and sanitation access. Nadia's initiative a non-profit founded by the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Nadia Murad will join with Dutch Relief and Development Organization Dorcas to carry out the program. Your radiating compassion is a beacon of hope for many people, United Arab Emirates. Also, many thanks Dorcas and Nadia's initiative for your compassionate care. May the peace-loving Iraqi people always enjoy much plenitude and comfort in celestial oneness. New wind energy facilities to be established in Kosovo. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, or EBRD, has provided a 58 million euro loan to sustainable energy company Sowi Kosovo LLC to construct the 105 megawatt or MW by Gora Wind Farm in northern Kosovo. Once completed, the facility is expected to generate almost 10% of Kosovo's installed capacity and increase the country's renewable energy generation to over 200 MW. It will also help the nation to achieve its goal of producing 400 MW of clean energy by 2026, to be the largest electricity plant constructed in Kosovo since the 1980s. The wind farm's operation will avoid the creation of 247,000 tons of carbon emissions annually. Many thanks European Bank for Reconstruction and Development for your important support and congratulations Sowi Kosovo LLC for initiating this nature-friendly project. May many more such green energy developments flourish in Kosovo in heaven's immeasurable blessings. Fiji moves towards plastic-free environment. Effective January 1, 2020, the South Pacific island of Fiji has banned the sale, supply and manufacture of single-use plastic bags to support the nation's marine life and tourism industry. To reinforce the prohibition, the island state has set an approximately 232,000 US dollar fine for manufacturing the bags or a prison sentence of seven years, or both. The penalty for selling single-use plastic bags is around 69,000 US dollar. Some Fijian women's groups are welcoming the new eco-friendly era by making cloth bags for shopping. Starting from 2021, the ban will also include plastic straws and styrofoam. We warmly applaud your earth-kind decision, Fiji. May your gorgeous island nation thrive as an ever more pristine paradise through your dedicated planet-preserving efforts in the gracious benevolence of the divine. Large United States city inaugurates free bus rides. 
Kansas City, Missouri City Council has unanimously approved eliminating public bus fares. The zero fare transit legislation was introduced by the mayor, the Honorable Quentin Lucas, and the 4th District Councilman, the Honorable Eric Bunch, who is an enthusiastic bus rider. Speaking of the decision, Mr. Bunch said, We are talking about improving people's lives who are our most vulnerable citizens. The approximately eight million US dollars needed to finance the initiative will come from the municipality's budget. Since 2016, streetcar transportation in Kansas City has been free. Three cheers, the Honorables Quentin Lucas, Eric Bunch, and all other Kansas City City Council members for this air-sparing measure that also benefits those of lesser income. May all municipalities help expand the green transport options for their cherished residents in God's divine grace. Vegan population source in United Kingdom. The number of vegans in the UK increased by 62% or 419,000 people in 2019 with a total of 1.1 million individuals identifying as such according to personal finance comparison website finder.com. Based on its data, the company projects another million will become vegan by the end of 2020, which would be nearly a 100% growth rate when compared to the previous year. Furthermore, the firm's analysis predicts 2.5 million Britons will adopt vegetarianism during 2020, which would bring the total UK vegetarian population to almost 6 million at the start of 2021. Wonderful news, United Kingdom, on the tremendous expansion in the number of vegans and vegetarians in your progressive nation. In celestial wonder, may your country continue as one of the global leaders in their citizens embracing the rapidly accelerating plant-based trend. Kind Malaysian man dedicates majority of his salary to saving animals. Dr. Rosli Abbas, a senior lecturer at the University of Malaysia Sabah and founder of the 20-year-old non-profit Heart, helping animals rescue team, uses nearly 80% of his earnings to provide food and medical care to many cats and dogs in Kota Kinabalu, the capital of Malaysia's Sabah state. After finishing his day job at the university, Dr. Abbas drives around the city from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. to feed up to 60 stray felines and canines and shares details of his rescue missions on social media. A devout Muslim, he has expressed that the Quran encourages people to treat animals kindly. Our heartfelt gratitude, Dr. Rosli Abbas, and the Helping Animals Rescue Team for your praiseworthy efforts to better animal welfare. May we always treat our cherished animal brethren with loving kindness in Allah's abiding care. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present the Shining World Compassion Award to Dr. Rosli Abbas and Helping Animals Rescue Team, plus a 20,000 US dollar humble contribution towards this noble endeavor with much love and thanks for your giving heart. May Allah shower you and everyone involved with all love and blessings.